Hi, my name is Anthony Antorcia um, with the Sivan Lab for Neuropathology at Banner Sun Health Research Institute. Uh, my poster is on the long-term storage effects on phosphorylated TDP43, immunohistochemical and histochemical neurodegenerative diagnostic staining of archived paraffin sections. Um, in background, it is common practice in histology laboratories to store wet fix fixed tissue or take extra slides at the time of sectioning and store them for possible future use. There has long been conjecture about whether long-term storage might alter the staining properties of such tissue, but not many studies confirm such effects. In this study, we compared the staining of phosphorylated TDP43 in brain tissue that had been stored at room temperature for years, either as wet fixed tissue and buffer embedded in paraffin and sections collected years before the study. So for the methods, we fix tissue from 15 phosphorylated TDP positive cases uh, that, that were dissected and embedded as the same area of the original block. Uh, paraffin sections were cut days before staining from both the original block and the newly dissected one. In addition, we stained paraffin slides that were cut and stored for years. All sections were stained with a commercially available phosphorylated TDP43 and with a polyclonal antibody for phosphorylated TDP43 that was privately obtained from Dr. Akiyama from Tokyo, Japan. The methods uh, used were identical except for the epitope exposure uh, 10 minutes in boiling 0.1 molar sodium citrate, followed by three minutes in 80% formic acid for the com commercially available phosphorylated TDP, or 30 minutes in boiling 0.1 molar sodium citrate for the privately obtained TDP. Uh, both concentrations of the primary were 1 to 10,000. Our results, um, our initial results of blinded, blinded semi quantitation of staining density suggested that both long-term storage of either wet fixed tissue or cut sections reduced uh, phosphorylated TDP43 immunoreactivity. In figure one, we show two cases stained from the same area. One was dissected at the time of the autopsy and one was uh, stored as wet fixed tissue for some years. In table one, it shows that the new block was only better in 7% of the cases, whereas the old block was better in 93% of the cases. The staining of the new block was so decreased that the score changed in 73% of the cases we looked at. In figure two, uh, there are, is a freshly cut section and a section that had been cut and stored for some years. You can see there is decreased staining in the stored sections compared to the newly cut one. And in table one, uh, we show that freshly cut sections had better staining in 80% of the cases, the same staining in 7%, and worse staining in 13%. Uh, the staining in the freshly cut sections changed the overall score in 73% of the cases when compared to the old sections. Also, we did not observe similar effects in other common neurodegenerative diseases um, that we looked at. So in conclusion, most pathological protein and private peptide aggregates in stored tissue sections may be suitable for study even after prolonged storage, but should be avoided for phosphorylated TDP43. Uh, thank you.